Hello. Hey, Dean Mama, how you doing? <gasps> Good. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me adjust your audio just a tiny bit. Um, hold on, real quick. Yay! We're gonna get your video. Wonderful. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get this up here. Um, yeah, Alora did an excellent job doing a prep for getting me on and getting everyone on. So everyone oh, in chat, give a big thank you to Alora. Seriously, Alora has been amazing. This has worked out so well. I was, I have been, I'll be completely honest. Um, I've been uh, incredibly stressed out about this. Um, I get really nervous about this type of stream for some reason. I don't know what it is in my brain. Last night, I was just like, it's the dumbest thing. I woke up like every 20 minutes last night, like the reverse version of a kid on Christmas. Um, going, <laughs> oh my God, am I going to wake up too late? And I'm like, I have like 15 hours until the stream. I'm obviously not going to sleep for 15 hours. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was something I, goofy. Real quick, uh, pronouns, just to check in. Uh, any all, don't care. Okay. Um, how many people you talked to today? Um, I actually have lost track. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot, a lot. It was really, it's been really encouraging how many people showed up and uh, it made me really happy because we had a ton of banger conversations. People have been having a blast in chat. We had like, 300 people watching for the first half of the stream and uh, somewhere between 200 and 250 and only just now at the uh, late hour of 11.35 have we had any sort of significant viewer drop off and people have been checking out, meeting new people, finding new content creators. Makes me really, really happy. Um, I wanna do more stuff like this in the future because I think that this space is I think that all of the so-called communists on the internet need to remember where the word fucking commune comes from. Where the fuck is, where the fuck's the community, so, you bitches? So-called socialists refuse to socialize. Curious. Yeah, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Well, I, I know you're you're trying to wind down. You're probably pretty tired. Um, I, I had a short spiel. Uh, have, you, have, have you heard anything about the Teamster strike that's coming up? Um, actually, no, I haven't yet. So um, on June 16, Teamsters, which represents 340,000 workers at UPS, that's the like parcel delivery service, mm -hmm. voted to strike. 97% of workers voted to strike, by the way. So like Holy overwhelming. Holy shit. Now, um, so I, I will say, so this sounds like amazing, right? To give you a historical note, this would, if it happened, be the largest strike against a single employer in US history, like period. And during the time the strike was going on, it will be the largest amount of workers currently on strike since Reagan, since oh I think 83. God. Yeah, that so is... if it happens, th this is huge, right? Yeah. Now I will say, voting to strike is part of a lot of bargaining processes and sometimes they don't actually go through with it. Right. Um, they're, they're trying to get a good contract and they're showing like, hey, we will fuck you up if you don't give us a good contract. Yeah. Um, but I guess I wanted to mention it for, for two reasons. One is that um, this is something the DSA has been working on and it seems to have been paid off. So I got to get my shill for the DSA in. Always right. be shilling. I'll give, you um, the, I'll give the DSA the point this time. And um, more directly, if y'all want to join the strike effort, I've posted the link in chat, sorry, a second shill, for the, the strike ready program. In short, if they do go on strike, it's just gonna ask you, hey, can you turn out to a picket line either to stand there, give them a little bit of food, or maybe provide a tiny bit of money to strike support so that the strike can go on for as long as possible and they can demand the best conditions possible. That's um, awesome, that's awesome. Go check that shit out, everybody in chat. It's in chat, it'll be there in the video, it'll be there, well, it's on the screen. So go check it out right now. And if you, you need to search for it, just search strike ready um, and you'll be able to find it. It's pretty easy. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll just, I'll finish out. I know, I know you're probably tired. Um, no, you don't have to hurry at all. It's fine. Um, you, we, we set aside at, you know, 20 minutes minimum for everybody. Jesus you're Christ. good. And, and I'm happy to talk with you. So don't feel like you're rushed at all. Take your time. It's chill. You know, usually, so I, I've done a few, I, so I've started streaming again a little bit. Um, and whenever I do these call-ins, I try and limit it to like 10 minutes because I can't handle that much interaction with another human, like at a time. I don't know. I, I, I get you. This. No, I, I get you a hundred percent. Like, I mean, I'm not going to force you to stay for the whole 20 minutes if you don't want to. Um, I, I, that's just what I do. I know that I tend to run long. I mean, some of these conversations when I talked to Joe Lewis for like 45 minutes and present yeah. Sunday for almost 45 minutes and, you know, but you know, President Sunday was giving, he was like, must be a good conversation because he was next up. Yeah, um, I mean, he was. We had a really good convo. We went back and forth about a bunch of different stuff and we're laughing about some 
you know, spicy history we had, you know, back in the debate days and whatever. He said, um, what was it? He said that uh, Kyle Kalinske is becoming a Xander Hall clone, I think, because both of them have like blonde dyed hair. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not anymore. Xan doesn't have the blonde. Xan, sh- by the way, Xan should go back to the blonde hair. Uh, because I oh think, I think it was a... I got, this is this is heresy. This is total nonsense. No, I blonde... think he looked great. I'm sorry. I think it looked great. I know people called him Draco Malfoy, but I don't care. He had <laughs> he had he had them he had the Malfoy drip. He did Malfoy but better. I think he looked great. I think he looked great I, personally. I'm silencing my comments about this. I'm keeping negativity inside. Um, right. <laughs> Fair. The if I if on the the strike ready shell, if I got yeah. one last thing to, to add to you, Please. um. One of the big reasons they're striking is that UPS trucks, like a lot of delivery trucks, don't have air conditioning. And I think two, it was at least one, but I think two UPS workers died during uh, last year or two years ago's heat strikes. That I have heard about. Um, I've yeah. heard about that actually quite a few times. Uh, various sources. Uh, the UPS trucks are trash. And also, a lot of them have, like, fucked up heat systems, too. So in the winter, they get fucking cold as shit. We used to, yeah. um, back in, uh, when I used to live in... in um, in Iowa, I know, I know, that's weird. I lived in Iowa for a while, but when I lived there, um, we used to like leave like hot hands and warm snacks for the our, our person for our mail person because they kept saying like, oh, uh, my my truck doesn't have heat working, and I'm like, it's fucking cold out there, dude. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's it's pretty fucking bad. So the, the, the driving conditions aren't great. The pay, UPS has been able to fight for really strong pay over the years, but mm-hmm. the, the the working conditions of the trucks are pretty fucked. The other thing they're fighting for is um, a $20 minimum wage um, across all the all the jobs. So some of the warehouse workers earn $15, which might not sound terrible, but a lot of these people are working in New York City, just like the rest of y'all, and they need to earn a living wage. Um, so... Uh, last thing I'd give, you might not know the history of this, but Jimmy Hoffa, the second uh-huh. one, yeah. um, back in 2018, they were doing another contract negotiation, and he forced on UPS's shitty contract onto the union. He, there was like a secret clause in how the union was structured, such that if less than 50% of people turned out to vote against the contract, the leadership could just force it through. So Jesus. he was like, well, only like 40% of y'all voted, so yoink, we're putting in the boss's contract. Within four years, he's kicked the fuck out, and 97% of voters, sorry, 90% of workers are voting to strike. So I, I, I don't want to go too much on the the worker, like, you, you are living in, viewer, you are living in the highest period of worker militancy in the last 30 years. There are more people on strike in the last four years than there have been in the last, like, 20. Um, so, like, yeah. You talked earlier, Demon Mama, about building like worker power. Like this is the time to try and build socialist power. Uh, and yeah, it's, agree. it's happening. Now is the time to strike. Now is the time to unionize. If you don't know how, call Ewok. DSA Ewok. Google it. All right, uh, Google the Ewoks, uh, or Ewok rather. Uh, don't mean to to cause confusion. DSA Ewok. I don't know what that what that is necessarily, but uh, no, I agree with you. I mean, uh, as you know. Uh, I am not a unionist, but nonetheless, I stand in solidarity with the unions. Uh, I'm not a DSAer, but nonetheless, I stand in solidarity with the DSA. Um, I think uh, the time to smack the shit out of these motherfucking parasite class that has been sucking up everybody's uh, life throughout the pandemic, the Amazons, the fucking UPS, the, the FedExes, all these motherfuckers, it's time to put the hurt on them. Uh, I mean, seriously, the the capital transfer from working people to the tiniest margin of human beings you can imagine, the smallest group is insane. It's disgusting. And, and one of the other, like, it's it's weird to talk about it like this, but one of the other weird things about living in this moment exactly is we've reached, for some reason, billionaires decided that they wanted to use Twitter and Facebook and get brain rotted exactly the same as the rest of us, right? And right. every goddamn week, you log on to Twitter, and that class that's extracting huge amounts of wealth makes sure to show that they are the dumbest motherfuckers on the goddamn on planet. The they're, planet. They're apes just like the rest of us, right? Every day, they show their ass to you, like, in HD. <laughs> and up. Sometimes it, worse it, than anything... Like, I mean, there are there have been feats of hubris that we have witnessed in recent memory that are literally unachievable by the average person. That no matter how dumb the average person could be, they would never be able to achieve the level of stupidity that is enabled by ungodly wealth. 
I, I mean, I, I totally agree. And to, to top it all off, it's like the, the world's richest person and the world's 10th richest person, like Musk and uh, Mark Zuckerberg are going to do a fucking cage match. Not only are they apes, they're going fucking at it like like chimpanzees. I actually heard um, about that. And I was like, wait, is this for real? Or is this oh, like, is this like chat GPT generated misinformation? I, I Zuckerberg, I, Musk said something about fighting Zuckerberg and then Zuckerberg posted send location. <laughs> He is so ready to kill. There's no fucking way they're actually going to go through with it, right? Like, this is, this is I, totally going to... None of them have happened. None of these this is boxing a one matches side. ever happen. This is a one-side thing completely. Zuckerberg wants... Zuckerberg is putting on, like... He's got, like, the Joker smiley face on. He's, like, teeth from, like, ear to <laughs> ear. He's getting ready to fucking slaughter Musk. But Musk, on the other hand, he doesn't want to fucking touch this. I, on Twitter, I, I gotta say this. On Twitter, someone posted the news of this. Musk agreed. He said, let's do it in the Vegas octagon and then said that his signature move would be, quote, the walrus, where he laid on his opponent. Uh, I saw. Oh, I did see his tweet where he said that he was trained in no rules street fighting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which was yeah, I'm a proud graduate of the, the school of hard knocks. <laughs> yeah, Jesus I have a, Christ. I, I learned I learned from Street Fighter six. That, uh, that you can use special moves like the Hadouken to take down your opponent. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, you guys, some people are in chat are like, somebody, someone find that tweet and post it in chat for you, for those who don't know. The one that says like, uh, I studied, I studied uh, 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 karate do and judo and also I studied in no rules street fighting. It's the fucking stupidest shit I've ever seen. Uh, honestly... I will say, even though my, my I would not put money on it actually happening, Elon Musk has also said I'm Rick Bick on on a, a giant on a giant uh, uh, show in front of an enormous audience in a stadium. Completely embarrassed himself. He also uh, has uh, he also did that fucking atrocious presidential announcement. Where everything was bungled, he 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 uh he did that that one infamous Twitter stream where he was just like breathing heavily into the mic and burping and like coughing, and it was just like so. This is a guy who has like no there's no bottom to the amount of tight ways he'll embarrass himself. So maybe it will happen. Maybe I'm too cynical for this situation, and he actually is stupid enough to get into the ring with Mark Zuckerberg, and God willing, they'll uh, they'll tell, tear each other to shreds. See, this is Demon Mama's pessimism. She's thinking these billionaires, they must be calculating. They must be smart. They're the people trying to run the world. They're the cabal up there. They got to know what's going on. Me, an eternal human optimist, realizes that anyone can be a billionaire. Anyone can be lucky enough to make it. And that's why they're <laughs> morons like the rest of us. Okay, you're right. You you are, of course, correct. However, listen, how many times did Uva Bull challenge people to a fist fight? And he never did one of them. How many of these people have we seen challenge each other to fist fights and we never get it? So, while you are correct about the nature of humanity, why the fist fights never happen? We never get the fist fights, even when it would be perfect. Even when we, if the rule of funny says that it should happen, maybe this Look, will be I'm the just, time that changes everything. Maybe we've shut it into the universe where two billionaires will have like a Mandark Dexter of slap fight where their arms are going like this at each other. <laughs> And back in um i just choose to believe that we're living in like this is the sims we're living in the sims 5 right yeah and back in 2015 they turned on cheat mode and now the funniest fucking shit is happening because it's like goddamn gerbo playing he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing and everyone's <laughs> getting killed everything's on fire this shit rocks yeah i love uh, being in the wild. simulation it's been an, it's been it's been an insane ride i mean i don't want to i don't want to be too grim and talk about some of the occurrences of the last week uh i i really uh you know Everybody's been talking about the submarine, okay? All I gotta say, I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm not gonna be a super disgusting person because getting crushed at like the bottom of the ocean is a horrible fate. Um, I will say though, that when I saw the clip of, the, of him being like, this is what we control it with, I lost my shit. I started laughing so hard. Uh, I, I couldn't stop laughing. And also, I will also say one other thing, which is that uh, the night that all of the news happened with the submarine is the best night of sleep I've received in a long time because I was like, there is no chance. There's almost 0% chance in my life that I will ever be stranded in a uh, in a carbon fiber <laughs> there, tube. There's no there's karma there's, coming back. There's, there's nothing. Like, like I, I was just like, wait, I, no matter what stressors there are in my life right now, which there are some, there are plenty, 
I am not trapped at the bottom at 13,000 feet of, de of depth in a PS4 controller controlled uh, uh, device with four other sweaty guys, either in, uh, and now we now know probably immediately obliterated, but at the time there was still some belief that they may be trapped in there. And I was just like, wow. I, I'm I'm going to bed well tonight. I don't I don't gotta I was I, it was like cathartic. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna be an asshole. I'm not gonna make the jokes that other people are doing. I will just say I, I slept really well knowing that I was not the one trapped in there. I will say there's a long tradition of making jokes about nautical disasters. Someone posted True. a thread of um, newspaper quips when the Titanic sunk. Of course. One of which included it was kind of the Titanic to provide a ballroom for the mermaids. Oh my God. People are fucking brutal. <laughs> okay, uh, I will say the most brutal thing that I've seen, seriously, the most brutal thing. None of the jokes, it was just James Cameron uh, going and saying, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of ironic, uh, the mirroring of the hubris of the Titanic in this Titanic tourism submarine. Uh, uh, the the I, captain I don't ignoring know if... the danger of the icebergs and the captain ignoring the danger of crush depth. I'm like, fuck, it, man, it fuck. Was so there was, there was a lawsuit and some of his emails were leaked and he literally said something like, I'm tired of people telling me that this will get someone killed. <laughs> He's literally doing the I'm unsinkable shit. And oh. he's saying to someone who's been like, you can't use these materials. They're not tested at this depth. That's the email. He, the, every rich billionaire has so much fucking humorous. There's, there's something that happens when you haven't faced the consequence for anything in your life in like 10 years and you just go fucking insane. Your brain just stops You just go working. insane. It stops functioning, yeah. yeah. It's uh. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, so, okay, hold on. And I that's gotta... why you should take their money and support the UPS strike. That's why you True! should be strike ready. Fucking accurate, though. Unironically, billionaires do not deserve their money, okay? It's that simple. You could put all the other, all the other fra factionalism between the left all to the side. These motherfuckers do not deserve to have that much money and every, the world would be a better place if it was shared more fairly. That's that's just something we should all be able to agree on regardless of your opinions on other things for God fucking sake. Uh, Jesus Christ. And also, um, I hope that we don't have a, uh, a echo of the rail strike situation in this particular incident. And I don't know enough about the, the nitty gritty details, the legality details of this, but uh, the Biden shutting down the, the rail strike, I'm sorry, uh, I know we all want, we all want Donald Trump to not win again, but that was a that was a pretty fucking horrible thing of, of Joe Biden. That was, his, his whole admin really fucking screwed the pooch with that one. That was bad as fuck. And honestly, I think people should be more mad about it. Those, they're yeah. like, tor they're like, they're like, no, we're just going to continue torturing all the rail workers in America for the economy. So, so I, not a defense of Biden. Recently, the rail workers actually did finally win um, sick leave. I don't know exactly how, Fucking but there finally. was news about it. Yeah, they, it, it took about four months, I think, since the rail strike was shut down, um, basically by the Republicans and the corporate Dems. And then unfortunately, a lot of progressives voted with it because they were told to by leadership. Of course, but, yeah. Um, well, I'm glad at least they got their sick leave. Uh, they deserve more. Uh, 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 I, I, I can't even imagine the like. I don't know if I was in, working on 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 the like something that was deemed so vital to just be like, yeah, sorry, you're not allowed to stop working. Uh, keep getting tortured for the betterment of the economy. I would just, I think that would be my call to leave that well, industry. That's and that's what's so. Say. People, you know, we, we talked a little bit about UPS conditions, but those are yeah. pretty much identical conditions with Amazon, which has no union whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So, like, Amazon is done crazy not to strike crack. busters or straight crazy oh, yeah. uh, union busters. I should say not. If busters. Amazon can get cracked whatsoever, like that's the place to go because working conditions there are insane. Turnover is insane. The people are going to be like, I just, <sighs> I, <laughs> if there's one thing I want is to see Jeff Bezos crying, just like fucking, um, who's the guy who owns Starbucks? Do you oh, recall? Um, he, he... Howard, uh, something Howard, right? Is it um, Howard? Sh Howard Schultz, yeah. It's Schultz? I so, think so. Um, Schultz came in, um, Schultz was like retired. He still owns CEO. Yeah, Starbucks. He still yeah. owns Starbucks. And then he came back because Starbucks, the first Starbucks unionized. He literally came back as CEO just to try and union bust them. And now the he's hiring CEO Pinkertons. From, two, two, uh, from 2022 to 2023. 
Yeah. yeah. He came back just to do union busting. He hired Jesus. the fucking Pinkertons. I'm not even joking. The Pinkertons are still here. That they do private funny. security investigation. Yeah, we he talked the about the, uh, you know who else used the Pinkertons? A uh, fucking uh, uh, Hasbro. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, they sent the Hasbro sent the pink sent Pinkertons over to 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 shake down some YouTuber who accidentally got sent a uh, <laughs> a, a pack of of cards that were early release, and he showed them off on his channel. And they sent Pinkertons to go get them back. We did a whole thing on it. There's a video up of it up on my channel. It's insane, actually insane. They were like, "Hey, you got them cards? Fucking hand them over. We'll kick your ass." I'm like, "Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ." Private security people are insane. Oh my god, it is um, fucking, it's fucking nuts. Yeah. Well, look. So Schultz really fucking sad that his company is being unionized. He was so sad about it that he ran for president and got trounced in the Democratic primary. If there's one thing I want to see, it's fucking Jeff Bezos crying because Amazon finally fucking unionized and his golden cow isn't giving him all the money in the goddamn world anymore. Oh, so it'd be beautiful. What wouldn't it be beautiful? Let's pray. Let's pray <laughs> for more billionaires to have panic attacks in 2023 and onwards. All right. Damn. Well. Uh, well. Uh, uh, SDL. It's been... no, no, that, this is a thank you so much for having me on. If you want to find me, I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube as Socked on Left. I'm trying to stream a little bit more uh, through the summer and hopefully through the year. Thank you so much, Demon Mama. This was a wonderful stream. Thanks for highlighting so many tiny people. And have a great evening. It was awesome. Thank you for coming on. And also. Uh, Chat, SDL is really good people, so please uh, go give them a follow. Uh, thanks so much for coming on. It was super fun to talk with you. I'm really, really glad you were able to make it after all, because uh, I know there was probably some wait times and shit, but thank you so much for coming on, seriously, and awesome stuff that you had to plug. Have a great night. Have a great evening. Bye. Wow, that was awesome.